What comes to mind when you think of quiet, of silence, an empty house, maybe an early morning rising or the quiet at night before bed? Think of a snowfall that blankets the ground and mutes that daily noise that we're used to. Maybe it's nature away from normal, such as a quiet lake, a mountain setting, or even time at a beach. Don't we long for quiet because we live in a world that's noisy? Our world and our lives are busy, noisy, and often chaotic. How do we as believers in Christ find time to sit quietly before Him, to read, to meditate, and pray, and soak Him in when there are so many distractions around us? I'm an early riser, so my quiet time, my solitude, is in the morning, usually before the sun rises, so I also catch that first morning light. And as the dark sky lightens before dawn, the birds start moving and chirping, traffic sounds pick up, the day begins, and the quietness recedes. How do you find the quietness, the solitude, or just the non-distracted time and place to connect with God? It's not easy when you have children, when you have a spouse, maybe noisy neighbors, or a busy neighborhood. And we're not even talking about the busyness inside our heads like our daily schedules, our household needs, that shopping list, who to call or text or email, or you get the picture. Scripture tells us that Jesus took time to separate himself from the pack and went to solitary places to be alone with God. He was intentional about meeting with his Father, and we need to do the same. Be intentional about finding that place, that time, maybe that activity to meet with God in a way that allows us to listen to what He has to say. The chaos of our world demands that as believers we seek the Lord. Psalm 46.1 says God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Chaos is trouble as it churns away at our relationships with those in our homes, those we work with, our neighbors, our friends. But chaos can also cause our thought life to run amok. Do you struggle with what ifs? What if this happens? What if that happens? What if they do this or that or the other? Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. God calls us to be still, to find stillness before Him. What does that look like? For some of us, it's early in the morning. For others, it's a car ride with the radio off, taking a walk or a hike or a run without a device in our ears, maybe even a closed bathroom or closet door for a few minutes. Be intentional. Meet with God in the quiet and the stillness. Start small and be blessed. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.